I'm afraid I owe you guys an apology. Um, I, I missed my upload last week. That was because it was my birthday and I had friends over from um, another country and they were there all weekend. So I didn't have a chance to record a video and I'm very sorry about that. Um, in other news, I got my hair cut. As you can see, it's quite um, short at the back and I also re it. Uh, it. This look was kind of peacock inspired, hence the, the greens, the blues and the purples. Um, the reason I got it cut um, is because on, in the running up to my wedding I kind of over bleached my hair a little bit. Um, I was trying to get it <clears throat> as blonde as possible so it can do whatever colour I want it. Uh, but I sort of already knew when I was re-bleaching it that that's probably something I shouldn't have done. Um, and uh, to be honest, it looked fantastic at the wedding, but afterwards, even with a lot of conditioning, it did start to break a bit. So what I did now is I cut it off to the point where it started breaking. Now these longer bits are still a little bit frizzy, but I think with another cut in a couple of weeks' time, I should be rid of uh, the very damaged bits. I uh, This is just damage control basically. <laughs> I am going to uh, grow it again so I can do more more hair tutorials for you guys. In the meanwhile I'll probably do some hair tutorials for shorter hair. Um, and uh, I also got a question uh, earlier this week um, to upload a video on how I um, do heatless curls. So that's what I'm going to show to you today. Uh, and I also uh, got uh, a request to maybe do an outfit of the day and they just wanted to know what I, what I wear on an everyday basis. Now, I, I'm more than willing to show you what I'm wearing at the moment, which is just a very simple black hoodie on top of uh, some green jeans. This is the back of the hoodie. Hope you can see that, it has a nice embroidery on it. And I'm wearing some wide-legged jean, um, <clears throat> corduroy uh, jeans with that. Or they're not technically jeans, trousers with that. <laughs> um, I like wide-legged trousers because um, of of my body shape. Um, I prefer to them to be quite wide to go over my legs easily. <laughs> In every day I generally tend to wear things that I'm quite comfortable but I do like it if it has some nice details like some embroidery or some bright colours. At the moment it's kind of <laughs> dark and wintry I guess. But uh, yeah, that's what I wear today and it's not that different from, from what I would wear any other day. So without further ado, I think I owe you uh, a short hair tutorial. Now there's probably a lot of people on YouTube that have already showed you how to do heatless curls. And uh, it is a bit tricky you now, my hair is a bit shorter, but I can still show you the technique. So for heatless curls, you want to have a uh, hairband, and I prefer to use a suede one because it sort of grips onto my hair quite well. Um, so that's what I'm using. Also take one that's rather large because you do sort of want to pull your hair through it, so you need something that's relatively loose. So I'm just going to place this hippie style on top of my head and then I'm going to take a section of my hair, like so, and loop this over the hairband and then merge the tail end of that with the next section of hair and repeat that step. And I'm going to work on the other side now because it's starting to pop up a bit because I'm work pulling on that side. It can be a bit tricky with these shorter layers um, but you can always sort of fix them in place with a bobby pin if you have to. Or leave them out of the curl. You may not want it to point to the side funny. And work around while adding sections and pulling them through your hairband. Now, as my hair is not one length, this is a bit tricky for me at the moment. Say not impossible, I have actually done it. This bob looks quite cute with curls. You just may need a couple of bobby pins to keep it in place here at the back. 
on the other side. Now I usually keep this style in overnight. If you do it overnight, make sure your hair is not too damp because it, it will not dry fantastically well in this hairstyle, so just make sure it's dry enough. So yeah, I definitely need some bobby pins here at the back to keep my hair from falling out. Um, now personally, I would totally go out with this. Um, you could even jazz it up by putting, say, a flower in there like so. Or some other hair accessory. I just usually stick a couple of bobby pins in there, keep it in place, sleep with it overnight and the next morning I have curls. And I will get back to you tomorrow morning and show you the end result. Hey everyone, this is my lovely bedhead. I'm going to take this out now and show you the curls I got. And there you have it. Heatless curls. Now just style your hair as you normally would. This is the end result of the heatless curling technique. I hope you all enjoyed that or at least learned something. Thanks uh, for watching and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you all next week.